Okay, so I haven't made a video in a while. Um, just touching base on these soft bus bodies. I have gathered uh, together my small collection of my personal dolls just to kind of recap and look at. Um, I was doing some repairs and figured it was time to make a video. The reason I've been so um, lacking of the videos is I've had uh, massive computer failures. I was just finally getting back up and going. I have a full-size PC and I have a netbook and they both decided to go down and I lost a bunch of my footage and a bunch of fun stuff. I've been using my old Gimpy laptop here which is quite sad. I mean, I can't even unplug it technically. I had to hardwire it all together and hob job pieces of this thing together just to kind of make it work. But, you know, it was something that kept me online at least. But anyways, um, what I'm looking at here is um, mainly just some of the variances in the doll bodies. Um, I've pretty much already kind of touched base on most of this. I can't think of anything in particular. I was just kind of lining up what I had. Um, seen um, Cody before. She has the small bust on the um, soft bust body. This one would be the large bust of the these, both, these are both 23 centimeter of the soft bust body. All of my bodies are the white skin, as with most dolls. That's pretty much the skin tone we're looking for. Um, I actually don't have the medium of this. I was looking on Junkie Spot's website. It's a nice 44 degrees outside right now. It's pretty comfortable weather. Let's see, this is the 23 centimeter here. Yeah, the medium soft bust, that's the one that I don't have. The ones that I have are the um, large soft bust 23 centimeter, and that is the 23 BD, no, that's flesh tone. Flesh tone. We don't want flesh tone. 23 centimeter Obitsu female child doll, large soft bust white 23 BD FO4W, white skin tone. See, so yeah, I do not have the medium for that. And then she is the small. So she is towards the top of the list here. Mediums, mediums. Here's small, soft, bust, white. 23BD FO2WG. White skin tone. So those are my 23 centimeter dolls. This is my new girl. I got her at Puddle. Um, she's going to get a different wig. Let's see, and then of course we go into our um, 25 centimeter dolls, which are a bit more of, like I said, a bit more of a teenage look. Um, these two are actually my girls, and this is a friend of mine's. I actually just repaired this body. Um, she's got a bit of a wrist problem that I had, uh, somebody had broken off the other one, so I had to drill out the piece in the inside so I could put a new hand in. So I just mounted her. These are both um, the medium bust of the 25 centimeter um, and then obviously she is the large bust which you can see her um, breasts uh, appear to sort of defy gravity as the case is here um, I heard somebody saying that uh, that they had some sort of weak knee issue I guess I can't say that I've had it you know I know uh, when you when you put their knees at full tilt like this, they get kind of a funny looking hollow spot, which is unfortunately a slight drawback. But I mean, otherwise she can bend her knee pretty far and still uh, looks pretty good and has a pretty smooth kneecap. Um, let's see, and then these girls have the same type of knee joint that the 27s have, and they can bend all the way around and and it looks a little funny, but it's not too bad. Um, back with the 27 centimeters, um, these girls actually have their bikinis on because they were going to take some, some pretty pictures at a Greek themed, um, hotel's pool, but our vacation plans kind of got, um, canceled on us, unfortunately. 
but it does kind of show one of the things I like about the soft bus body is that they can they can wear something like a bikini and not have too much trouble with um, awkward uh, plastic body lines that they would normally have. Um, one thing that's nice too is if you're looking for stock clothing to fit um, a body, for the most part the medium two-part soft bust 27 centimeter fits most stock clothing pretty nice. As a matter of fact, this little lingerie set is an A-zone piece. Um, A-zone, I believe, is the correct pronunciation. It's actually clipped pretty tight. It's on the second hook, so it's not even in the tightest setting. I mean, it is on the tightest setting. So, and that actually fits her pretty nicely. Um, for example here, I mean, Cassie here is on a regular, uh, large bust of the two-part soft, which, um, we have up here as well. Let's see. Oh, yeah, almost the thing I was looking at the, um, Bubitsu stuff. We'll touch back to that. Um, here, her top should be pretty. It's just Velcro. It should be easy to pop off. It's a nice little live doll bikini. Fits her pretty well. They're pretty, uh, well sized. There we go. And you can see she just has the regular large soft bust in on the two part ones. Um, like I said, it's a nice pretty clean line. The uh, Bubitsu conversion tends to make that line look a little bit tighter because this uh, the bust in the Bubitsu is a little skinnier down the middle than this is. So when you cut it, it fits nice and snug as I can uh, demonstrate here with hers. Hers actually has a little snap. There we go. It's an older Barbie bikini. There we go. As you can see, um, the line, well, is you know, not as curved and defined, holds together to the bottom of the body a little tighter than this one does. And even though they're supposed to be the same size, you could tell hers definitely appear to carry themselves a little differently, a little more round. Um, I don't know if the side view... Yeah, definitely kind of have a bit more of a round characteristic to it. And then, of course, yes, hers uh, would have nipples, or as, as I like to refer to it, the uh, cold weather package, so to speak. Um, but yeah, in order to make her body, like I said in the past video, you have to pretty much end up buying two bodies. I'm going to be making another one soon <clears throat> for my new girl, my because I have uh, my bat girl, and I actually have a... Uh, what's left of a donor body here, which has a miscolored foot with one magnet and just kind of a parts body that was gathered together. So I'll be using for that. But besides that Bubitsu conversion, I'm going to be doing a more interesting conversion. I'm going to be doing a Volks Bubitsu conversion. Um, we just acquired it. She actually just came earlier today, a doll for a friend of mine, a chill, um, who was on this Volks large soft bust, um, as you can see. And this part is actually hard. Strange thing is her crotch is actually broken on her. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take her large bust, and I believe this, uh, my wife said, is getting pretty hard to find. And I'm going to take this large, hard, this large bust here and attempt to fit it onto the regular lower half obitsu body and we'll see how that goes i'll i'll make a video of that uh to try to put that together and kind of see how that how that appears to go that'll be kind of an interesting one because for my wife's mini me doll my wife is um fairly large in the chest unfortunately so even though she likes those large breasts of hers uh they're a bit troublesome but nevertheless, uh, she wants her doll to look more or less like her, so that's what to do. So then this uh, this little chill here, she will get uh, she will get a nice regular um, medium bust obitsu body on her. <coughs> so she will come along nice. She'll get a different wig, and I'll put different eyes in her. Um, but like I saw it here, um, the regular. Um, Soft, uh, regular soft bus, large bus that has this particular bus piece is uh, right here, white skin KF-233. But like I said, she is just a um, 
you know, one piece soft, and then the rest of it's a bottom is the hard piece, and has kind of like the man bulge um, issue that I don't particularly care for to it. Other than that, the regular two piece. So that's small soft, small bust. See, so there's your there's your medium bust. That's a flesh tone. Medium bust, white skin, 27BD-506W. Um, that's going to be your most common Obitsu body. The skin tone is going to match most pull-ups, and it's going to fit most pull-up clothing uh, quite nicely. Um, the bust size is very fair. Uh, it's not too outrageous like uh, my girls tend to be. And then yeah, you can see up here, let's see. Uh, the pictures are somewhat... Um, I don't want to say misleading, but the pictures on the website on the website are not great, and that's kind of what I'm hoping to kind of help with here is to show the show my dolls and match them up to basically what I've got. I mean, here you've got the um, Obitsu female doll, soft, large bust, white, 27BD-FO7W white skin. Pretty cheap, actually, 23 bucks. And that's see, like these pictures are, they make them look really kind of chunky and odd. And that's this body right here, the regular two-part white, large, soft. Uh, the yeah, pictures, yeah, I'm going to go with misleading. I know the way these pictures look, I just don't think they, uh, they do them any justice. Other than that, um, I always try to remember points that I'm supposed to cover in the video. Like I said, anybody can feel free to ask me any questions they have. I, I try to check, I actually check my uh, YouTube mail far more often than I do my own email or, for example, my Facebook. Um, my wife's messy area. This is my this is my newest acquired dolly. She was on the dent box sale, so I got my nice little Batgirl here. I'm going to get her a different... Um, she's actually going to take the red wig from that little girl there, I believe. And then I'm going to give her a Bubitsu body and um, some lighter green eyes and she will be another little vixen girl. I love I love the lips. They're very nice dark red with a little white for the teeth. Um, I think her face up is just a very adorable and cute. A uh, little bit of purple to the eyeshadow. Very sweet. So, she'll be, she'll be my next current project. Um, other than that, let's see my wife's got quite a few dollies <clears throat> brewing about in here that are going that are awaiting bodies as well we just did a, a fairly decent obitsu order of you know some 130 150 dollars from junkie spot um, for example this girl's going to get a new body she is currently on the 21 centimeter obitsu which they do not make a soft variant of and she is what they refer to as the doll bitsu where you take the breast part the breastplate from um a doll body. I'm having trouble here. And you put it on the Obitsu's body. But as you can see, she's she's not going to do too good with things like bikinis. She's got a lot of lines to her body that don't uh, match up really nice. She's got a bit of the man bulge problem. And she always seems to shift a lot. If people worry about um, floppy dolls, we don't have as much trouble with the floppy dolls when we use the uh, soft bust bodies because they don't have necessarily as easy pivot points so they don't flop forward as much. They're kind of more stable because of the soft body part. So, um, yeah, I guess I can't think of too many other questions at the moment. If anybody has any questions, do feel free to ask me. Um, this girl's getting a new body, too. She has a Obitsu hard bust, and the neck peg just kind of busted out of her, so... And she's kind of beat up and worn. So I'm going to get her cleaned up and uh, try to do something to help her out and get her off of this hard bust body. Which, as you can see, is as hard with uh, the cold weather package as well, but it's just it's just not as nice. So, yeah, can't say too much else. My wife's area is always a mess because she doesn't clean up. She comes in here, she dresses up, and then she takes everything off and throws it around. My wife also has uh, Prince of Pessa sitting here, but she has not opened her up yet because she is technically almost paid off, but not quite, and she feels guilty to open her up until she's fully paid off. So at some point, I'm sure we'll find a body for her or something as well.
so yeah, that's kind of what's new on that. Um, keep po uh, keep watch if you're interested in seeing. I'm going to try to get uh, a video up of um, some of the uh, other body work that I'll be doing soon. And uh, just kind of go from there. So thanks for watching.